It's not like I haven't beat these guys before. Looking back now, uh, me and the team did not think it was gonna go this way. At the end of the day, it's my fucking, it's my head. I need to figure this shit out. Cause I'm not gonna keep doing that shit. The story behind it all, I think all the ups and downs of my career, and I've worked hard for everything I've had, nothing's been given to me. Like, I had a complete meltdown with my wife, and like, I was almost ready to quit racing. Looking back now, uh, me and the team did not think it was gonna go this way. You know, we both we both had high hopes of being up front, and uh, since round one, it's been it's been tough. Oh, Christian Craig going down hard. It hasn't been the start to his return to 450 racing that Christian Craig would have liked. He's had three consecutive 11th place finishes. That's not what a 250 regional champion expects when they step up to the 450 class. Oh, this 450 class is so hard. And you know, when you, when you come from the 250 and you go to the 450, a lot of people think, well, it, it won't be that bad. But you have to remember, most guys that are in the 450 class are 250 champions. I feel like I'm doing everything right and I feel like the team is trying everything. It's just, it hasn't fully clicked yet. It's been tough. Um, you can kind of see it every weekend as I come in, you know, open-minded and, and want to ride like I do during the week. And it's just, for some reason, I just don't show up mentally. There was talks last year of RJ getting on a 450 for outdoors and we did do a little testing for about a week or so. And he was, he was impressive on 450. He had the opportunity with Malcolm being out that you know, we weren't gonna fill that spot for the second 450 rider, so. I was like, this is your opportunity. So, you know, this is a close race to your hometown, and you know, you love Daytona, it's one of your favorite tracks. Like, let's, let's hop on a 450 and give it a shot. RJ comes in in the 450 class, like there's there's no doubt in my mind that Christian doesn't want to get beat by, you know, RJ who's coming up for one race to, to race the 450 class. I'm sure RJ wants to beat Christian and you know, you never you never want to be the last guy back to the truck. It's the start of bike week, Daytona Supercross. It is the most physically demanding track we go to on the circuit and I can't wait to watch these guys battle tonight. to heat race number two, here we go. And RJ Hampshire, the rookie, the 250 West Coast racer, jumps on the 450, and RC, he leads the way. Great early laps from RJ Hampshire, but James, if he looks over his shoulder, he'll see, he'll see his teammates, and so this may get a little interesting here in a couple laps. Jason Anderson pressuring Christian Craig. Christian Craig, of course, teammates with RJ Hampshire, but they train at the Baker's Factory with Cooper Webb, so one, two, three. But, oh! Go to Webb, let's see if he gets it, but that inside was a little quicker. Are you serious? RJ Hampshire shows up on the 450, his first race ever on the machine, and wins his heat race against Cooper Webb, Chase Sexton, Jason Anderson. Come on, big dog! Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Dude, that was sick. Dude, yeah, dude. Wow. Dude. Yeah. 450 heat race two goes to this man, his first gate drop on a 450. Congratulations, RJ. That doesn't seem like enough to say to you. That was just an unbelievable ride. Um, I mean, talk us through it. You told me you were growing into this role, but right there, you've come away with a heat win. It gets incredible heat from your competition. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, man, just huge thanks to this team. Uh, it's hard to uh, talk someone into letting you go racing and whenever you've never even raced a 450 before, and especially here at Daytona. Oh, uh, man, it's special. Uh, 
I told the guys we were going to get a hole shot no matter what there. Um, didn't think we would hold on to it, but uh, man, just so stoked. Thanks to this whole team, and uh, yeah, it's cool to get a heat win, first one. Crowd's loving it. Thanks so much, RJ. Congratulations again. What a ride for RJ Hampshire. Now can he do it for 20 plus one in the main event? That's a whole nother story, but an incredible, incredible night. 450 main event from Daytona. 20 minutes plus one lap. The track's gonna play a role. The battles are gonna play a role. This is gonna be a fun one. Revs up, gate will drop in Daytona. It's the 450 main event. Great start for the Husqvarna boys. I had a chance to talk to Nate Ramsey this week. He said, yeah, we're gonna put RJ in the 450 and see how it goes. He said he looked great during the week and they've had to remind him, just stay composed, Ricky. Just have some fun. You don't need to do anything special, but this, this is more than special. Yeah, dude. What's up, dude? Hey, you're good, man. That was awesome. That was awesome. You had a little tight, but I had to uh, loosen up a bit. Yeah. And like my jump line was. Shit. Was it? Yeah, I couldn't see any of that stuff. So. But no, dude. Hey, bud. Good job, man. Hey, good job. Eddie, Eddie, dude. Hey, good job. I, I myself though when I let AP go. Yeah, and then you got two by, and then it was like. And then shit, came you know? two, like yeah. I gave him that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, he, he did. He, but hey, man. No, I was just trying to be respectful. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Because Kenny knew yeah. that. Kenny knew that too, right there, and AP. Yeah. But like, I had AP, no problem. But I was yeah. like, all right. Like, but I thought he was gonna go. Yeah. And then he didn't. And I'm yeah. like, dude, like, let's go. Like, yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. And then you got to... back around him, and then hey, rode your own race. No big mistakes, bud. Catching Ken Rawson, dude. Yeah. Like, this is sick, man. Yeah, Fucking heat race win. Hey, no, <laughs> yeah. Guy, right? yeah. Seriously. Yeah. All right. I need a towel. Yeah. 450, top 10. Yeah. Heat win. Yeah, bro. Hey, I, I don't know if we're going to be hey, able to. Buddy, <laughs> ah. I don't know if we can pay that heat win bonus, bud. Pay him the life uh, bonus. Yeah. <laughs> I want extra on that one. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I'll have to go check the budget. It's all right, we'll just add it to this next You want me to hose you off? I'm gonna shower. Okay. Hey, Florida represent, kill them with Christian. What do you think, Ned Dog? Just thinking. Which part, with Christian? Yeah. Probably yeah. RJ, but. Yeah. I don't, I just don't know what to, I don't know what to do, like to help Christian figure it out, you know? Yeah. You can do whatever. I got nothing for you, man. I'm gonna sit here. Gonna, like, yeah, no, you're good. You guys are doing everything right. Yeah. And I appreciate you guys trying to push me, but at the end of the day, it's my fing, it's my head. You need to figure this shit out. But I'm not gonna keep doing that shit. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I'll no. talk to you soon. We'll talk. Okay. Cool Alright. Alright. Yeah. No. It's all good. Yeah, there ain't nothing you can't say. I don't I mean, know what to, at this it, point, I don't know what to say or do. You know? it's, That's the one thing you can't teach somebody is like, like the desire to, or the way to mentally break through. You can't give somebody desire. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We'll put some thought into yeah. it. We can come up with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's all we can do. Jagger, are you ready? Come on. Let's do that side of the track. And then that jumpy jump, do it like sometimes and then do it, then roll it sometimes and go inside. Daytona was tough on me. I was pretty defeated. You know, I was apologizing to the team pretty much. They see what I do during the week and they get the reports of how I'm riding and they're not seeing it on Saturday. And so at the end of the day, that's up to me. I need to be better at that. I'm pretty much embarrassed at that time, you know, when, when, when I ride like that and put in those results. So I want to be better for myself, but also for the team around me that is 
you know, has hired me to, to do well. So I'm trying to push, I'm trying to get better. But um, yeah, that was a tough one to swallow. You're good at rolling your throttle over there. If you can just do one motion, it won't, it won't be, it won't pull you out of the rut. When you do like the blurp, it pulls you off the rut. Try to just do one motion with your throttle once you get in the rut. Yeah, I think family is a huge part of, of like my motivation. When I first had Jagger, that was kind of when I got back into racing and that kind of revamped me and, and got that fire but lit back underneath me. So I've, I've always used that as motivation. Try to be, you know, obviously a good dad, show them what's right. Yeah, that's like a burning, burning desire to like show them, you know, that their dad can do it and, and push through it. It does kind of remind why, why I started in the first place, you know, and, and you know, why I, I fell in love with this sport. It's tough, you know, Anaheim won. He had that crash, you know, in practice, and, you know, that just kind of set the tone. It's tough to come to a new bike and a new team and move your whole family to a new place and not start from scratch, but you're, you're starting over, you're starting fresh. And that's, that's tough to do, and it takes time to adapt and get used to everything. And there's no doubt when we get him more comfortable on the bike and, you know, he adapts, he's, he's going to be a contender for sure because he's got raw speed. It's like a good day. It's race day, right? It's what we all work so hard for. So let's, let's remember that all day today. Everything we do, this is what it's about, okay? Christian! Good boy! Good luck! 28 of Christian Craig on the Rockstar Energy Plus. Varna right now in fifth overall, as you can see on your screen. That 53. 0.739, not bad by Christian Craig coming off that 250 championship last year. All right, good luck, CC. Let's go, bud. Be smart. And when it's time, then it's time. Here we go, 450, heat number one. Main event spots on the line. AP comes out like a rocket ship. He gets sucked down on the inside line. Christian Craig settled things down. Christian Craig. Pretty fast earlier today, time qualifying practice. Go back to last weekend, he had a sixth place finish, so starting to uh, hit in a groove there on that Rockstar Energy Factory Husqvarna racing machine. Now he's starting to get a little pressure as AP is pulled into the scene. Man, and listen to this crowd. If Plessinger, this is going to be his last chance. Boom! Contact almost made. It'll be a left-hand turn, and it will be Christian Craig that gets the win. 450, heat number one goes his way. And a very happy Christian Craig here after that heat win. We were just talking, it's been 2018 since your last 450 heat win. That's a hot minute. Everything's been trending in the right direction for you, Christian. Talk to me about the comfort that you have on the bike and the gains that you guys have made. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's hard for people to see, but I'm making gains each week. Um, just steadily improving. I'm just trying to bring what I do during the week to the race. And uh, that felt like another day at the Baker's factory with AP behind me. Um, I knew he wasn't gonna do anything crazy, but uh, obviously he was catching me. The fans were going nuts. And um, yeah, I just need to bring that to the main event. Um, Got to give up to the whole team, Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna, uh, Fox, everyone just uh, backing me through this time. So yeah, keep the momentum going for the main event. Get a chance to do it again. Thank you so much, congratulations. Dog. Easy work, huh? You did something. That was fun. Jeez. Yeah, CC. That's what we needed. Yeah. Yeah, brother. We had a battle. So here we go. It is the 450 main event, the final race of the night. This is the premier class. Here we go from the Emerald City. It's the 450 main event. And we've got riders down. Fans on their feet, and it's Christian Craig. And it's a game of inches here. One little mishap can take you off of the track, either to the left or to the right. Christian now for the last couple of weeks has been managing to just settle in a little bit and get some riding and they said that along with obviously improved confidence and it's all just trending in the right direction but right now the progress, let's put it this way, they're very happy with it. 
Hey. Hey, my whoops were pretty sick. Dude, yes. that was cool. You're I was psyching. stoked on that. Yeah, you figured that out. That was nice. Once Trying I to crash, pass chill, and then you caught that edge. And... <laughs> it went in the V, and it, it just. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. It just went like this, and then you just. Luckily, you got just yeah. at the base of the trip to like, take off. And you never gave up, and no. right to the very end, got hill. Right yeah, I was like, ah, oh, he can get it. It was good. <laughs> He's fun how you charged. clipped his rear. I had speed, so I mean, I'm happy yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm yes. happy with how I went with the track. Yep. Yeah. Like I stayed doing that three. Yep. I was stoked I know. that. I know. Yeah, that was ride. hard. No, that, I mean, I honestly, it. like, the, what you were doing with the whoops was... Unreal. That was, like, Nobody the best. That, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you, you're one of the fastest guys. Yeah. I believe I can that's do cool. it. That's cool. Yeah. Good. You know, good heat race, good night. Drinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. Good job. It's good night. I mean, you, you salvaged what you could from that crash. All right, boys. Thank you. Yep. Good, job. good effort. I felt like I was trending in the right direction and um, just getting more confident each weekend. And obviously we got to Glendale and that's where kind of it all shifted for me. When I first crashed, I tried to get up. Obviously my dislocated hip stopped me from getting up. And that was just the most painful thing when it, when it was out. Those first 20 minutes was rough. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Not only mentally defeated, but you're physically hurt. And it's something that obviously we all have to go through, but it's part of the sport. And um, it's something we try to avoid, but uh, yeah, it's a bummer. It's, uh, that was the first time I ever dislocated my hip. So it was pretty painful. It's something that I hope that nobody has to have, ever really go through, you know? I'd say I'm happy with the way it was starting to go. There was a lot of ups and downs. It's a bummer it ended the way it did, but yeah, it's part of it. Um, deep down, I still want to be there. I want to race and I want to show that I can, I can be up front and, and win. So we got another year to show that with the team and hopefully we can put in some good results and get on that top step eventually. There's mama over there. <laughs> if I landed on that lily right in front of him. Yeah, at least if I don't catch a fish, at least you get a gator on here. He literally just came out for camera time. Man, A2 started out awesome, and with Jet having a bad first one, I, I really had a shot at leaving that night with the red plate. RJ Hampshire kicks the night off with the win. Second main just hand slipped off, couple laps in. Oh! What? No! Uh, I knew I hit hard and, and I was hurting pretty bad. Got so bad, I ended up checking myself into the uh, ER. And man, the first CT scans came back and, and they said, look, your kidney's about cut in half. Like you got a three centimeter gash all the way in there and like you're internally bleeding really bad. Like we have to transfer you to a level one trauma. They're either gonna stitch your kidney up or kidney removal. And at this point, I'm like, dude, like, there's no way, like, I just flew home. Like, I'm literally talking to you right now. Like, there's no way this is this is real. I didn't really know kind of what the uh, healing was gonna be like. I ended up leaving the hospital on uh, Tuesday the following day, and I did everything I could for, you know, a week straight, and I got another CT scan exactly seven days later and came back clear. So no internal bleeding. My cuts on my kidney were uh, healed up. So then it was kind of back to, all right, I separated my shoulder, so let's try to get this thing back to where it could be, uh, where I could go racing out of Oakland. And sure enough, yeah, we were ready to go. I gotta tell you, this is the best that I've seen RJ Hampshire ride the 250 West Division. He looks really comfortable on the bike and he doesn't look like he's taking a lot of chances. RJ's one of those guys, he's like, you could see the amount of effort that he's riding at. And man, he looks so smooth in that one. That never die mentality. This guy has it his whole career. He's done a lot with a little. RJ Hampshire has finished second to Jet Lawrence in four of the five races this season. All the ups and downs in my career and, and honestly my whole life, like it's kind of been like that. I'm, I've worked hard for everything I've had. Nothing's been given to me. And whenever someone thinks of me uh, in my career, like that's what I hope, you know, they look at is, you know, the dude that's never going to give up. And 
uh, that gives it his all every time we're out there. Um, and if when I retire, that's that's what people get from it, then I call that success. This part of, of the States has been starved for Monster Energy Supercross for a few years. We haven't been here since 2019. And the championship, Daniel, is starting to wind down with just a few rounds to go. So we're getting to that pressure cooker situation. Drop that gate, let's go! RJ Hampshire off to a brilliant start. Epic start by RJ coming out, had a good first corner. It's it's good to be in RJ. He's been in this position a few times and having Jed in the back. Looking forward to seeing if he can carry it. Hey, he's all pumped up because he just got a two-year contract extension with Rockstar Energy Factory Husqvarna. He is feeling good about life and he is out in front. RJ Hampshire, it'll be his fourth heat win of the year. New contract and a heat race victory. 250 West. And we'll get to see these guys go at it again in the first East-West showdown of the year. So we've been telling you that we have been racing against the threatening weather. Well, it is getting closer and closer, and the riders have just been told by the AMA and race officials uh, to head back to their haulers, head back uh, to the pits and paddock area, uh, and the crowd here inside MetLife Stadium have been uh, asked to take shelter. I just got an update that said projected start time is 10.25 gate drop. It looks like there's a window coming up that they're going to try to squeeze this into. You know what it is though, like no matter how many mistakes you make, no matter how many things happen, just keep plugging away. Yeah. All right, here we go, boys. We're back and we're ready to go racing. Boy, that sounds good to say. As the weather has eased, the lightning has moved on. I believe RJ might have an opportunity to make up some points with this. I think he's the might be the biggest beneficial if something goes wrong with Jet. Yeah, you see all that water. This is the worst case scenario for a motorcycle. Ready to go in the rain, in the mud, back in New Jersey. It's time to bring the action. 250 East West Showdown. Slipping and sliding into turn one. Great start. Who gets it? Is it RJ Hampshire? RJ, to make up some points, this is a great opportunity for him. And I, I feel like if he gets there, he might take it for sure. I'm, I'm liking RJ Hampshire. He's keeping the pressure on. He hasn't uh, he hasn't lost any ground to uh, Jet Lawrence right there. There we go. He comes back. Jet Lawrence is trying to round him up. RJ oh. looks across at him, tries to make life a little more difficult for, for Jet Lawrence. These guys are checking each other out, trying to be as cautious as possible while maximizing their points. There's a title on the line here in the West Coast Championship as well. Lawrence on the inside. This is the acceleration zone to the finish. I think Anstey's got enough. He has. Max Anstey wins his maiden Australia GA AMA Supercross main. RJ Hampshire throwing everything out of it at the finish. And he's down on the ground. Hunter gets by Bullen at the end. Oh, that's the face of just frustration, agony. Somebody come and help me, he's saying. Oh, I know a lot of people might look at that sideways, but that's RJ, man. Like, this kid, he's going for it. What would you have done? Would you have taken the third right there, or what? Like, I mean, no, I would have done what you did. Oh, damn it, man. I would have tried. I mean, you had to. Don't beat yourself up. You went down going for it. Like, and you, it wasn't stupid. You just hit a slick spot. Like, I would have been fine. Like, dude, if you went so far out, like, dude, I just, I didn't even, like, go to T-Bone. I'm like, I just kind of went in as soon as I did it. Yeah. Hey, any racer who wants it that bad is going to take that same fucking risk, bud. Okay? Don't fucking beat yourself up over it, Rick. I don't blame you one bit. I would expect that out of you. I don't blame you, man. Nobody's gonna blame you and be like, oh, that was, you sent it in, you saw an opening and you sent it in there. And sometimes when you're in the heat of the moment, you go for it, bud. Wouldn't expect it any other way. Have you guys gone fishing with Malk at all? Whoa. No? So he talks, has all his talk or whatever. Yeah, okay, he acts like he's the pro fisherman. I, I went with him, dude, took his boat out and everything, set, he's like, dude, this lake, they got it all. Dude, we didn't even get a bite. 
and we sat out there for a couple hours just baking in the sun. So now ever since then, he can't even talk about fishing. I don't, but that's the thing is I don't claim to be a pro fisherman, he does. Like look, I'm fishing on a pontoon on a boat club. He's got a dang $90,000 fishing boat and can't catch a fish. I hope, I hope you send that to him too. I want, I want him to know. Let's go like that way. Yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily fishing is my escape. It's more just out on the boat. Like we're usually here with my family. Uh, we love going out in the islands and, and stuff on the uh, golf and I man, we enjoy it. It's just kind of our thing away from dirt bikes. And then this is the lake kind of close to my home. So uh, we're able to come do this and, and I'm part of a boat club, which is kind of rare for you know a kid in his 20s, but uh, we enjoy it, we love it. And um, it's, it's a lot of fun for not only myself, but for the whole family. He gives it everything he has every time he's on the bike. And I wish, you know, a lot of riders out there had, you know, a small fraction of what Rick has as far as being able to fight through things. He might not be the most talented rider out there, but he probably has more heart than the majority of them. RJ Hampshire is his best SX season so far. Seven starts, five podiums. He told me today he would like nothing more, guys, than to have a win here to add to those seasons. That's going to be tonight here at Mile High. 250 main here in Denver. Championship on the line. Let's do it. Lawrence does not get the best start. Levi Kitchen gets a good one. RJ Hampshire. And making passes is what RJ Hampshire has just did. Let's not forget RJ Hampshire has not had a win this year. Here comes the Husqvarna rider, putting pressure on Levi Kitchen. New Jersey a couple of weeks ago ended in the mud, ended on the ground, ended with a crash for Hampshire. Now he can get the victory here that's eluded him so far this season. Here comes the Husqvarna rider. Oh, Hampshire oh is down. He goes off the side of the track. This is gonna be good. Two yeah, minutes plus a lap. RJ is in an awesome spot right now. He's made up that deficit. He is reeling in the gap, and from a mental standpoint, it gives you so much confidence. Here comes the 27-year-old RJ Hampshire on the inside for the lead. To the roar of the crowd, it yeah. lets it stick. And the checkered flag for RJ Hampshire. He wins in Denver. Yeah, dude. Yeah, go, bro. Yes. Sick. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, dude. That yeah. was solid. You dug. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. So awesome, dude. Oh. Ah, I told you, brother. I yeah. told you tonight's the night. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud of you. Oh, that was awesome. That was great, man. Oh, I'm so pumped. In the first of the season, RJ, congratulations. I know how much you wanted this win to cap off your season. The smile tells it all, but tell us how you feel inside. Man, it's so awesome. Uh, huge thanks to this team. Bye. Such a big difference from last year. I, I show up, I, I enjoy my weekends. I, I love racing my dirt bike right now. Um, so massive thank you to this whole Rockstar Energy Husqvarna factory racing team. Um, all the supporters, uh, so dang happy uh, for my family, my daughter back home, Ivy. Uh, we bring home a big trophy this weekend. Uh, my like, youngest one's here this weekend too. So uh, special night, like I said, huge thanks to this team and all the supporters. Another one. Practice that a little bit. It was dying on me. Damn it. Woo! Yes. Coming into the 2023 Supercross season, we were feeling really good. I think the off season went really, really well. The guys were fast, they were fit, bikes were good. I just, I, I was really feeling confident, not too, not too nervous or anxious about the season started. Uh, then the wheels kind of came off when uh, Malcolm had a practice accident, which, you know, did some damage to his knee that required him to 
ultimately end his season and go get surgery. Two days after that, you get a phone call from the Baker's factory. Jalik crashed today and broke his arm. So within a couple of days, we lost two of our main guys and uh, took a hit. You know, when you're in this, this sport and in, in this game, you, you understand that the, this can happen. Uh, it's always unfortunate and it, it never seems to be the right timing. But um, ultimately, we're all, we all know it's, a, it's another obstacle. You gotta get through, you gotta get healed up and healthy and then get back out there as, as quick as you can. I definitely wouldn't call it a bust because I think we still progress as a team and as a program and we had some really, really shining moments. Um, so ultimately, we didn't get everything we wanted to get out of 2023, but we, we sure made an imprint on the, the series and the, in the industry.